Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Alright, now that I compared my hard drive, this is my old hard drive right here, and this is my new hard drive. Now that I compared them, I got a 32060 hard drive. Now, I compared them to make sure that everything is good. You know, even though I did this at the store, but I want to show y'all exactly what I'm doing here. Now, I got my 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 thumb drive ready with with the uh with the with the um PS3 update already set up in here so I'm gonna hook that up now I'm gonna be putting in my hard drive right back in you know so I'm basically ready and this right here she went back up that way get out of my way now this the only main reason why I'm fixing this because I'm getting this error code it's 800 2F281. Now, it's basically telling me the hard drive is corrupt. It just keep, you know, going to store it. I try to do all of this. So the best thing for me to do is just buy a new hard drive and just get rid of this damn uh, error code because it's not working with the whole hard drive. It just keeps saying that it's corrupted. Even though I do all the steps at the PS3, you know, on the main screen, it tells me what to do. It just is not working. So, instead of having this error code 802F281. You just might as well change the hard drive so that way you can just start all over and it's cheaper. You send it to Sony, you're gonna they're gonna charge you between a hundred bucks to two hundred dollars. Now with that with that two hundred to a hundred dollars that they charge me, I went and bought me a hard drive for seventy seventy sixty nine twelve total with tax and everything. And I got me a three hundred and twenty gig. All Sony was gonna do is just take that error code out and fix the hard drive for that type of money. So why don't I upgrade and fix it myself? Now, here we go. I'm putting in the hard drive into the PS3. Here we go. Get it in there snug. I wouldn't put the blue screw in yet because you have to um, you have to make sure that this hard drive works. And then put in your thumb drive or whatever you got going on. Boom. Turn on your system. And you're going to be following the on screen. Info. Let that all come up. Do what it's doing. All right. You want to plug in your USB wire. And now it's telling you basically you need to hit start and select at the same time. And now it's looking for the update. Let it. Let it. Let it. As you can see. And as you can see, the thumb drive is doing magic. It's basically fine what it's looking for. You see? No gimmicks. Alright, and you see, you follow the screen. What it says on the screen, you follow it. It wants me to hold down, start, and select for five seconds. One, three, four, five. Now it's doing, what it's doing is formatting the hard drive to a FAT32, which that's what PS3 runs off. And hopefully this all work, you know. If you have any issues, any questions, um, hit me up on my YouTube, which it should be right up on the right, up on the top. Or hit me up on my PlayStation, which is Capella, C A P E L E S. Well, to get C A P E L E S, hit me on the PlayStation Network, and I'm, I'll send you, you know, an invite, whatever the hell it needs to be done, you know, whatever. So just, you know, just give me a detail message let me know exactly what's going on you know respond to what the problem is but it's already at halfway almost halfway it's formatting the hard drive and then it's gonna put in the new update and then the PS3 should be golden but with that I'll I come back to y'all
what this has done to just to show y'all. I'm not gonna sit here and bore y'all. We still got over 50% to get done. Alright, so I'll be back.